Hi, I'm Gabrielle, a floral designer here at Wesley Berry Flowers. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful, small, compact arrangement. Creating your own arrangement can be a perfect gift for um, dinner parties, birthdays, or even something that you can create for your own home. The flowers that I picked here is some beautiful purple hydrangea, some pink roses, orange carnations, um, we have some beautiful green button palms as an accent flower, and we also have some stargazer lilies to give it a little bit more fragrance. Um, the first step to making this arrangement, you do need a tie leaf. Um, that's what we have at the bottom of the arrangement to give it more a little bit of a contemporary look. First you start out by um, taking out the membrane because you want to wrap it in the inside of the base. So to do that, obviously it's not going to be very flexible. So what you have to do is take out the membrane of it. And by doing that, you're going to do it pretty much like you would a normal fillet of chicken breast if you're trying to cut off the fat. And you don't want to cut it too short, otherwise um, you're going to cut right through the leaf. And as you're doing it, you keep testing it to see where you still have to take more out to make it so that it is flexible enough to keep it around there. And once you have this nice feel of the tie leaf, what you're going to want to do is wrap the tie leaf in the oasis. that's done you can just plop it right in the base. You can't see the oasis anywhere in there and it'll also give it a nice flare. Now in the arrangement I like to do three different kinds of greens. It gives it more depth and it gives it more of a variation of color because they are like different shades of green and everything. I normally like to start with variegated pick. Normally with variegated pit, I would use my knife, but because the stems are a little bit thicker, it's harder to get through. So for this, I like to use my shears. And as you're doing this, you want to be pretty, you want to bring it all around. You don't have to keep it all in one spot. And as you're doing this, don't be afraid to go through the tie leaf into the oasis. That'll also keep the tie leaf in place from spinning around or anything like that of the sort. Okay, next green that I like to use is called Salal. They're bigger leaves and it gives it a very fresh look to the arrangement. Also for this, I like to use my shears because they are thicker stem. And if you don't have shears, you can also just use scissors. Those work good as well, or even multi-purpose scissors. All right, the next screen that we use is Baker Fern. It gives it more of a flare and more airy. As you're using your knife to cut the baker, what you do is you cut it at an angle. This is exactly how you're going to cut your flowers as well. Most people, when they do these, they like to use the shears for flowers, but when you're putting it in arrangements, especially if they reach the bottom, they're going to sit flat right on the bottom and they're not going to be able to soak up the water as if they were at, that, if they were at an angle. Now that I'm done with my greens, we're now going to start with the flowers. The one thing that I like to start out with the best is the hydrangea. Um, it's your main focal point, I believe, in the arrangement. So what you're going to do is cut it at an angle, and you're just going to plop it right in there. Make sure it sticks in there. And use the stem. Don't try to press on the actual flowering of the hydrangea. You can fluff it out if you'd like to give it a little bit more of a look. Um, next, I like to use lilies. Um, they're another main part to the arrangement. Trim off all the greens. Stick those in there. 
And you want to stick them pretty deep, as deep as you can, so that way they can soak up a lot of water. The next flower I'd like to use is roses, the hot pink roses. And what you're going to want to do, pick up on this last strip here, you want to take off all the thorns and you kind of, with my knife, you just kind of skin them down the stem until you got all the thorns off. And you're going to want to take all the leaves off as well because what we're going to do here is kind of set them in the hydrangea, as you can see here, and poke them through it. Next, you're going to want to take off all the bad petals then cut it at an angle. We are gonna make a little hole in the hydrangea, just poke it through, just like that. Make another one. sure that you're actually getting it in the oasis as well if you're able to to make sure that it is going to get in there and get water from the arrangement and then to offset it I have two roses in there but I'm gonna put three on this side so it's an odd number of five odd numbers in floral arrangement is always good um, it's just more appealing to your eyes As you're doing this, feel free, you don't have to put them in any specific area if you're going to use same flowers that I did here. Um, you can make them more scattered, you don't have to do so much of the same arrangement. You can make it pretty much with any flower that you would like. It's a very simple, easy arrangement and is very appealing to the eye. Um, we're going to do the orange carnations. Um, we've already got some bright colors in here, some bright purple, hot pinks. So now we're going to do some oranges. And with these, like the other flowers, you cut them at an angle. And just remember, you want to stick them in there as far as you can into the oasis so they can get a lot of water. As you're doing this, you also want to kind of turn the arrangement and see where you have spots that you just see greens and not any flowers and you want to put them in that area, just a little bit spaced out from everything else that you have in there. And in here we have do have five carnations, so we're going to put another five in here. And if you find a spot where you can't shove it in all the way, you can always just move it around a little bit and try to put it in another spot as well. It's not going to hurt the oasis at all or any of the other flowers if you try to stick it in there. And if, when you're trying to put it in here and a flower does break on you, just recut it and put it back in there. It's not going to do anything to it. You don't have to throw it away unless it's ex extremely short. Then you can still stick it somewhere just to give it more depth to the arrangement. Next, um, we're going to use Kermit. Um, it's also called Green Palms. Um, there's a lot of different names for it. And we're going to use this as our accent flower throughout the arrangement. Any spots that you pretty much see in your arrangement that um, you just see greens, um, it'll give it a nice little bit of more fresh, contemporary look to the arrangement. And just be sure um, as you're doing it to take off all the leaves um, and all the, the foliage off of the flowers. And you don't have to use this just as one step. You can pick it apart and use everything that you have out of it. And as I'm doing this, you can see the whole thing, the whole arrangement is coming together with all of its bright colors and flowers. Anyone can make a flower 
operation as long as you try hard enough. <laughs> they're very simple and very easy to take too. They're not very hard. And if you see something that's a little high up like this lily right here, you can pretty much just take it out and cut it down. When you're done with it, you can add ribbon or even add a balloon to it and it will give it a nice look as well to the arrangement. Um, just a little something special for whoever you're giving it to or if you're making it for your home. You don't even have to use these colors. If you wanted to do more fall, because that season is coming, um, you could do some more bright oranges, burgundies, reds, yellows, anything like that. Like you, instead of a hydrangea, you could use a sunflower. If, Instead of those stargazer lilies, you can use orange lilies or anything like that. If you want to switch up the colors, you can do that as well, just to give it your own flair to it. As the finished product, beautiful arrangement, perfect for your kitchen, your dining room, or perfect gift for a birthday. And this is the beautiful arrangement that we made today. Um, you can give it out for a birthday or anything of the sort. Thank you for watching us today, and I hope you come for our next session of how to make a floral arrangement. Um, I, then again, I'm Gabriella Wesley Berry Designer here at Wesley Berry Flowers.